Time for another song by Louis Cole. This one, longer than the first one I checked out there, which is less than two minutes. This one is four minutes and 40 seconds. It's called F It Up. It's a live session. Shout out to Michelle Elise for requesting this over on Patreon. And go. We have keyboard. Like a MIDI drum. We're looping. Actual live. What unusual sounds to choose. That's how he's creating the bass line? That's sick! That's so good! Enjoying the F-bomb counter. Technique. Who's this? One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> How does a dude play just a cowbell? Why are the backing singers outside? I guess it's too loud. Oh, he's not playing cowboy, he's playing a fucking saucepan? Oh, yeah! This is worth the effort. Those dance moves are not the one. God damn. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Basis is killing it. Ah! Tricky brass stuff on all the off beats. Pretty tight as well on those runs. Enjoy the editing. He's a fucking god of the drums. The feel of it. What's with the camo net? <laughs> you slicing the cake? Took that chance all day long. Fucking up so fucking strong. Take that chance all day long. Fucking up so fucking strong. Take that chance. Vocal's definitely the weak point here. Everything else is fucking class. Oh no. Fucking symbol work. Come on. So tight. Everyone here is pretty top quality. the symbols that are making it for me. Oh, we're going up and up and up. I need my own fuck counter. It would be high. It's one of my very favorite words. That was absolutely brilliant. 
brilliant. It would have taken so much energy to set up that house with everyone in their seats and their instruments and practicing all of that. It's going to be tight and all the various mad cameras. But certainly worth it. How's this done? It's had 5 million views. Good lord. Yeah, it's cool. It's interesting. It's different. It's fun. Jaunty. The vocals were the weak point. I mean, they were largely... I, I enjoyed the vocals on the previous track I heard, which um, they were a bit better, as I recall. That one, I mean, it's live, so there is that element to it, but the musicianship on display was phenomenal, especially the stuff that I pay most attention to. The bass and the drums, phenomenal. And the arrangement was gorgeous. The fact that, you know, all the brass instruments could be tight together. And woodwind. I understand saxophone is technically a woodwind instrument. I did not know that until like two days ago. Thank you for letting me know things I don't know in the comments. I really appreciate them. If there's something I didn't notice about that, you thought it was cool, let me know in the comments. I want to learn from because the, there's so much fucking going on in that. But I love the funkiness, the feel, the pace of it. And especially the cymbal work, the doubles. <laughs> so good. He looked almost entirely ambidextrous based on what he was doing on the, on the kit there. Um, perhaps more favoring his left hand, a lot of the cymbal stuff, but... I don't know. He seems like he can do it all. That was phenomenal. Jeez, and a very unconventional recording setup, I would say. Um, <laughs> what do I give that? Delicious. <laughs> that was great. That was better than the norm. The only weak point was the vocals, I think. But I enjoyed what they were doing. I, it was jaunty. Just the actual strength of delivery of the singing I thought was a little bit on the weaker side, but that doesn't matter. That whole thing was a joy. Highlighting what music can be. It can be joyful. Play for the fun of it. You know? Bring some friends. Have them sit on chairs in your living room slash kitchen. Have one of them dedicated to playing a saucepan. And you got yourself a hit. Sort of. Um, F it up by you, Louis. That was wild. Thank you, Michelle Elise. That was an absolute trip.